Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and welcome to Dungeon and Princess. Found this game on Google Play. It was actually on sale for a dollar. I think the original price is a dollar and fifty cents. As I'm recording, it's on sale a little bit longer for eight hours. So I should get this video up within like thirty minutes. So you guys probably have like probably seven hours and thirty minutes left. At least I'll try. <laughs> But yeah, as soon as I'm done recording, it's going to go up. It looked interesting, to be honest. Now, this guy actually looks pretty sick. I like the armor. The sword, I never was a big fan of, like, the hilt that looked like that. So you can speed up the dialogue by holding down. Ooh, treasure. Whole bunch of loot. Okay, so stage A. Okay, so he gives us loot and stuff. So we have different costumes, huh? There's different colors we could pick. What the hell is this? Effects that are set. Your skills, I'm guessing. Seems like it. This is just your bag. Okay, we don't have any skill points. I'll take him with a look at her stuff. So you could just look at her. Load it. Okay, that was a little bit confusing. It didn't even give a tutorial or much to it. Okay, click this. Okay, one thing that I'm already hating. Okay, I had to skip that. Okay, so this is a turn-based type. I need to go back and redo skills, apparently. But I think I'm getting the gist of it. So this is a raise attack, right? That's the hit. Just gotta take it slow, learn the skills. Whoops. Push him by mistake. Kill him. Let's buff a little bit. What are we going to have enough for two? There we go. Here it comes. And we're just going to use normal tank. Why not? So what would that effect be? If I wanted to like look at his, nah, uh, I don't think they're gonna allow me to look at his like st stats and stuff like that. I'm taking damage over time. Okay, I figured it was gonna be like a turn-based type of game. But I really hate that you have to hold the box to speed up the text. And if you were to push skip like this, just completely skips the dialogue. So it's not like making it any faster. Holding your dialogue is 
not a good option. Tapping is best. Don't don't do that. Like if you're not confident in your uh, speed of your dialog box, then just go to tap, and everybody will you know go as fast as they feel like they should go, or go to fast at their own pace. Instead of you setting up how fast they go. Give him the shield. Okay, I'm getting the, I'm getting a hang of it a little bit. Oh god, they're all not legal. <laughs> Alright, let's let's just go back so we can get armors and stuff figured out. So as you go, you get more characters, by the way. I don't think it's like a gacha game or anything like that. There are different skins. Yeah, that, that kind of looks sick. Oh, they have other skins too. That skin actually does look half bad. Except for the Blood Sniper and that. Eh. Meh. I know what I'm skiing I'm gonna get though. Okay, so that's just a bag. We can equip the helmet to him. Come on with that. And armor. Yeah, he gets everything for now. But pretty weird game, man. Pretty weird. Okay, so let's go back and just try to remember the skills. Okay, the first skill... Just normal hit. Okay, I already figured that out. So that one's an enhance of damage. Okay. Bullet hits enemies that are in front or move forward. Strike with three bolts. Hits all enemies. Nice. Alright. This one costs three and it reduces defense. And the one I've been pushing the whole time was crit damage to all allies. Okay, noted. What about you? Okay, cut. Armor increase, yeah, I already figured that out. Slash to all and causes bleed. Increases everybody's power by 20%. And she just does a whole bunch of damage with Inferno. You. Alright, so you aim and take. Shoot at the selected enemy, okay. You heal. Mark an enemy will receive 30% additional damage. Triple shot. Hit an enemy three times, and then there is the last one. It hits all enemies and causes stun. 
Oh, it's a shotgun. Okay. Alright. We should get the gist of it now. Word game so far. <laughs> So bleeding stacks, okay. Good to know. Uh, I'm gonna just do this right now. Cause of bleeding. Increases everybody's crit. Okay, so effects carry on to the next fight too. Receiving additional damage. Bring our crit back up. Hit with that. Where is there's a hands? Ah, he evaded. So once you figure out everything, it's a lot easier. Like, we just had a rough start off, that was for sure. Get a whole bunch of gears, too, and everything. So they're slowly just teaching us as we go. I wish it was, like, actually turn-based, though. Like, I take my turn to use an attack, he takes his turn to use an attack. Kind of like that. Okay, even your mana carries over. Uh, let's see. I thought that would kill, but all right. Okay, I just want to see something. Does that stack? Yeah, it does. Noted. You can stack your buffs with each other. Marauder armor. I'm going to give that to the other chick. This is a gun. Another cape. Lights of chance recovery. I'm going to give this to her. Well, to him. Yeah, this gear. Well, this robe is for her. Okay, so it's just between these two. So I need that stuff in order to. Upgraded? Okay. So what would happen if I get rid of this? The question is, what skill do I want to up now? Because I'm pretty sure we have some skill books. Maybe damage for everybody? Okay, so everybody has their own, like, skill book. God damn it. Even that dialogue, you have to hold down. Or just straight up skip. Let's see. How many books did you get? You don't have any. So everybody has their own separate, like, books. For skills. And I think as they level, it goes up a little bit. Because I don't think that was like 31 additional damage, right? Nah, maybe it was. 
But I do got some more games that I found on sale that I'll show off tomorrow for sure. Okay, so it tells you the rewards you're going to get right on the sides. So this is more of a quick turn-based type of game. We got to pretty much think fast. Interesting. Oh God, look at your face. Don't she look beautiful? Uh, where's the three consecutive shots? Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, bring that up. Do that again. Oh, you would evade. Oh, come on. Stop evading my, one of my hits, dude. Okay, so I can't use anything right now. There we go. It's going to be interesting to see how we deal with bosses because you got to think fast and quick. So we're just going to, I was about to say, we're just going to talk with the Scythe girl sitting in front of us. Three rewards. So now we have this character. What can you do? Restore stamina increase. Or recovery stamina. Okay. So basically haste speeds up. And then she has one that costs four mana. It speeds up the whole ally team. Okay. We can use that on herself, then we can get the haste for everybody else. Yeah, let's go try that. Curious to see if that works. Oh, you can insta kill? Oh, except for bosses. Pretty easy so far. So you guys basically spread damage out through like your allies. Weird. Kind of difficult to do. Yeah. <laughs> 
Easy with that. Alright, bleed is in. Dude, thinking fast <laughs> with this game is like insane. I like the fast paced turn base. It just takes a really quite a while to just like learn it all and get like a rhythm in it. But I also gotta remember to keep coming out and changing gears and giving each other gears. So every character has like their own unique, like, hold up, wait, who is this one? I don't think this is a character that we have. Yeah. So you can even get gears for characters you don't have. But yeah, some of the like gears are unique to certain characters, just to increase their skills and stuff like that. Alright, this is for her. This is her gun. I think we're gonna try and increase that heal a little bit more. This is only just cost one. I'm pretty sure they'll probably try and get us a healer like later on in the game. I don't know, right now I'm liking this gun, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. But we're also gonna put that on you just for now, since we don't have the character. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This is uh, Dungeon and Princess. If you I'm pretty sure it's called Dungeon Princesses on Google Play. Let me check that out for you guys. Yeah. Dungeon Princess. So, there you guys go. Go ahead and start set up on Google Play if you guys are interested in playing. And I will see you guys on the next one. And to them, peace out.